These are a pair of 1947 knuckle tanks. They are one year only tanks. They are different from the 48 to 50 panhead tanks. They take the same speedball emblems, but they're different underneath because they're for a knucklehead. They're in extremely good shape. They have no repairs. However, they were sold to me originally as original paint tanks. They are not for an old, old repaint. Supposedly the guy I got it from knew the old man who bought them new. And the old man told him they were original paint. They are not original paint. So, one time he was running a speedy shift type conversion, so he whacked off the tank shift. He's here and put this on here, which is real common to do, so you hide the tank shift bracket area. Got a little, couple little dents here from shelf wear. And if you look at the bottom here, it's flat. Look at the bottom of these panhead tanks. It's got indents. You follow? So these are knuckle tanks. These are not panhead tanks. Now I made these tanks 47. There's your speedball badge. Okay. No repairs at all on the tanks. That's beautiful. They're perfect for a knuckle bobber. In the period. Have a look inside this tank here. Looks pretty pretty nice inside, nice and cherry. Let's take a look inside this one over here. This is the right tank. Looks pretty cherry inside to me. This is the right tank. Again, no repairs. It is a knuckle tank. Does have a little bit of repair here, probably dropped down on the head or something. And uh, that there's the dead giveaway while we got a repaint and it doesn't mic out right. So unfortunately they're not real paint. But the, here is your right knuckle tank. There's a little indent there for the knuckle head. Here is your right pan tank. Let's put them right next to each other. See the difference in the dents? Knuckle head is flat, small dent, pan has big dent, and two of them. Okay, so these are knuckle tanks. Now you guys know the difference. Might have a little repair up here, a little dent or something. We stripped them obviously. Nice to run just like they are. I would personally just put them on an old repaint bike, call it good. A couple scratches, send it down the road, have fun with it. Either way. Very hard to find one year only set of knuckle tanks. We made 14,000 1947 knuckleheads, but the tank was only made the one year. Not very many survived. They all got chopped. This stuff here, when it got chopped in the 60s, when it got bobbed in the 50s, you know what they did with it? They threw it in the trash can. There's almost none left. So, these are a real set of tanks, perfect for a bobber. I personally would not try to put on a restoration because you got to repair this mount. But for a bobber, wow, this is cool. So anyhow, these are going to go on the bay. And now you can see the difference in your pan tanks and your knuckle tanks as I promised in an earlier video. Alright guys, so we'll talk to you on the next one.